So when I hear these stuff about gun shootings, weird stuff going on on the streets, um, accidents, it's just, it just goes for interest for me, and when I just see this stuff, I'm just like, it's unbelievable, and I don't know why it happens, but it could be accident, but there's some instance that I want to talk to you guys about, and I'm concerned. The first one's called the Tyron Martin case. It happened a couple of months ago. A 14 year old boy named Tyron Martin was walking down the streets of Florida. And there's this guy named George Limberman. He just randomly shoots the kid. Which is just, no, it's just, I don't know why he did it, but. Here's the thing. In the interview, when the police questioned him, he said that Tyron Martin attacked him. But he said he only shot him in self-defense. So that's a little weird. But it is murder. So in my opinion, I think himself should go to jail for that. So I think he was lying or something like that. I don't know. So, so after that, a few weeks after, everyone in New York City was like furious. Even Terry Martin, who died's parents even came to join the crowd in New York City. They were having these signs saying that we want arrest, arrest him now. Yeah, I think he should, but... <clears throat> Another instance was the Cleveland High School shooting. It involved some male victim or someone went into the school went straight for the cafeteria and then just shot some gunshots through the tables. About five or six kids died, I don't even remember, but it was a terrible, terrible tragedy. I would, if I was one of those kids who were in the cafeteria, I'll just hide and run for my life, but if I died, I don't really care. I die, so... The third case is a boy, he was playing basketball somewhere in, was it California? I don't remember, but he was playing basketball and this random man just comes up and then shoots him in the lip and then in the hip. It doesn't say if he died or not, it just says he was rushed by a local hospital or something like that. But. Um, so the police didn't recognize the man, so the man probably didn't go to jail, so. Um, some weird cases, as you know, this happened recently. The zombie case, it's disgusting, but I don't mind it. I watch zombie stuff all the time, a little bit, um. So this homeless guy brutally attacked this guy, and then somehow he eats his face off. Like he just crawls down and eats his face off. The police located his thumb and then, yeah, this guy's face was like ripped. So the only way he could, the police can get him off is just shoot him. So, and and here's the weird thing: a lot of people think there's gonna be a zombie attack spreading through the world. That could happen, but I haven't heard anything recently about a zombie attack. But there was a second one in Maryland. Which surprised me, but after that it stopped for a couple weeks, so. Could this happen later, or? I don't know, so. So. When I see this instance, I'm like. Should these people have it in their homes just for protection? I don't know. But. My house doesn't really get robbed, so. I might have a gun sometime, but I don't know. So... Yeah, if I were you guys... Watch out, there could be st stuff... Going after you... Out there. Grab a knife or something. <laughs> I don't, but I'm suggesting you that, so... <laughs> so, yeah. It's really tough to... Record me supporting the story, so... If you guys have any questions, just...
subscribe to me um just comment it on this video if you have anything to say how you feel so yeah